Okay, I have some herbs here. These are uh, non-GMO herbs. They are basically the herbs you would use to uh, cook with. Parsley, oregano, rosemary. We got cilantro. So these are most herbs you would use to um, cook with. So this is how the cilantro seeds look. We got chai, dill, parsley. These are the sage right here. The sage kind of look like a um, black pepper seed. Basil, oregano. Ooh, lavender. I really want to grow lavender. So, um, I've just learned that you have to, I don't know how to say this word. It's garnish is it garnish them i don't know if that's what it is but basically what i do is so i get a paper towel i drench it in water and i place the seeds um on top of it and i put another paper towel over the top of it and i put it in a ziploc bag or you can put it in um a bowl and just put plastic over it and let it uh sprout so um i I don't know if I have to do that with these seeds. Most likely I will. But these are the packages that it comes in. These are the little things you put into the ground when you're planting them. And I think these are herbs that I want to grow inside the house, inside of my house. Because um, I know if it's, if it's growing outside, it's going to start getting cold. And I don't know if these are good for winter time. Okay, and this is just uh, my book that I'm going to get ready to start reading. I do have... Um, uh, herb in here that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I got the seeds. Um, where is it at? Right here. Agrimony. So this is the one that I'm finna get ready to start uh, learning about. I got a lot more seeds. Uh, medicinal plants. Herbal remedies coming. I have two types of books. I have this one for like wild food. Uh, and this one is for my herbal remedies. These are not the only books that I have but right now these are my favorite books that i'm like head over heels for and just reading about them um because there is a like a survival book look at these mint seeds you can barely see these they're so little um these are the biggest ones i got but yeah these are not the only books that i do have um i just wanted to show you guys these herbal seeds that i have okay they're gonna break it right there and the thyme. Oh, thyme is even smaller, too. So, um, I want to get ready to start growing these inside, uh, I guess, for house plants. Uh, you guys, let me know which plants are best for growing inside. Do I grow lavender outside? Which ones can withhold the winter? Probably not none of them. I don't know. But I do want to grow probably like rosemary, thyme, uh, oregano, and sage. I think sage maybe can go outside. I don't know if it's strong enough. And it's we're in uh October right now, so I probably have to read up on which plants are good to grow outside and inside. But these are the plants that I want to start growing so that I can know what they look like, know what they seeds look like for one, know what uh they look like when they're young. Versus when they get old or even when they um have flowers. Some of them have different flowers. Some some of them have different species. So I'm going to go dive deep into these common herbs that we should all already know. Which I know these herbs, but I want to be able to identify them in the well. Uh, do they have any poisonous lookalikes? Which I doubt these do. I don't know. I don't know. But I just want to know the herb. Uh, as a whole the root the the uh the seeds the stems i want to know everything about the herbs and how they smell uh so i know i probably sound crazy oh these deal uh if you say deal pickers these deal seeds look a little funny I feel like those little things you have on that pizza those little cheap pizzas but um yeah so i'm finna get ready to start growing these herbs right here and these are just regular basic 12 herbs that you i bought from amazon which mostly i get all my stuff from amazon i did just see a commercial 
because I was watching YouTube videos about herbs. And they had a like a 20 minute commercial. You know, you usually skip those commercials, but it was for this book right here. And she was just explaining it. And I actually was enjoying that. I needed that. She was explaining about all the herbs uh, in the book. All the they, She even had mushrooms in here. You'll know how to identify mushroom trees and syrups. You'll know how to uh, tap uh a maple tree and how to boil it it's a lot in here it's a lot and, and that video was very helpful i wish there was like a youtube channel where she talked about her plants uh i the youtube channel that i watch is trillion wild edibles where he's he really explained go into detail he's actually actually showing the plant and how the plant looks what its medicinal properties how he likes to cook it so uh yeah trillion wild edibles is a really good one but you guys these are my little herbs that i'm gonna get ready to start uh have a little house garden which is something why i don't even i don't know why i didn't think to do that in the first place because i'm thinking i got this pot in the backyard i'm gonna get ready to make my herbs but you could just start an inside garden um at home so yeah let me know what you guys think about which plants are the easiest to grow because i want to start off with the easiest ones and the reason why i'm doing herbs because um i'm into herbs i am going to eventually go into uh the food wild foods and uh identifying wild foods even growing regular foods too i want to be able to know them too uh because i only know the common ones that's at the store this is information that i want to be able to have and be able to pass down to my kids so i'm on a journey to figure out all these herbs and i'm starting with the basics i do need to get some garlic and some ginger in here and um you know uh onions the regular herbs that we use all the time that we know uh so yeah let me know what you guys think about these herbs which ones is the easiest ones to grow and which one do i have to sit for a minute i don't know garnish i don't know I'm, I'm learning i'm learning so yeah um comment down below let me know what you guys think i am gonna be probably making videos all the time talking about herbs and um even herbs from this book right here and other books too because i got a green the green kitchen witch which i really love that book um i'm finna get ready to find it and i'll make a video on that book too and just talking about it and any other book that i run into i'm gonna let you guys know if it's good if it's bad but most of the time most of the, the herbal books i always end up falling in love with even this one right here it when she was explaining it to me and what's all in her at first i was like mm, i don't really want to learn about wild food but when she explained when i watched the commercial on how her uh uh her ancestors survived off this during the great depression and it made me think when what if the great depression happens again i want to be able to uh help my family and survive off of these foods because we could be starving and right there beside us laying some edible flowers or some edible vegetables but we lack the knowledge to even know so that's where i come in at. and then i'm gonna pass it down to my girls i have five girls one boy uh and my husband and he i want to be able to teach everyone about these herbs so yeah just comment below and subscribe to my channel to follow me on my journey as i uh self teach myself and uh learning about herbs and not just uh herbal wild edibles i want to be doing i want to identify poisonous plants too so yeah just subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video